Hi, Yarnabees. How are you today? Uh, excuse my appearance. I <clears throat> um, we're having some family stuff going on, and uh, I'm yeah. I've been like pretty upset the last couple of days, so I look like hell. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Um, anyways, I wanted to get this video out. <sighs> yeah. So, anyway. Um, today is... What day is it? What week is it? Oh, my God. Uh, week, beginning of week two? Or is it the end of week two? Anyway. Uh, of the movie marquee challenge that I am doing with Heather the Crochet Witch. Hi, Heather. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a playlist down below where we pick a movie uh, of the month. Um, we alternate months <clears throat> and we show the movie poster and we do the colors out of the movie poster and make a project. So, um, uh, the movie for this month is Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> one of Lord of the Rings. I can't remember which one it is. <sighs> so, here's the movie poster. <laughs> there you go. Um, so I decided that because it's the, it's October, uh, and it's the beginning of the winter season that I was going to make a cardigan so far so good <laughs> uh, I told you last time that I couldn't show you the other yarn because I hadn't got it in yet well I have it in now so now I can show you so it's a tangled mess here because I'm using three colors at the same time <clears throat> so I'm using Bernat premium in black I am using hello where are you <laughs> mainstay in taupe yes taupe with sparkles And the third one I am doing, <clears throat> oh, <laughs> it's a little crumpled. It's the new um, Loops and Threads Impressions. And you get this at Michael's. And this colorway is olive. Okay. Um, oops. now I know everybody's going to say, are you going to do a tutorial on this? Probably not right now. Um, maybe in the future, but, uh, <clears throat> okay. So here it is. I'm using the like double crochets and the cluster stitch. And I think it's turning out pretty good. So far, so good. Um, it is long. I'm doing, yeah, it's going to end up being, uh, oh, <laughs> um, what happened was, <clears throat> remember the last video I told you, I think I chained 150 stitches, but I didn't feel like it was quite long enough and, you know, but it's, it would have to do. Well, it ended up that I couldn't find my crochet hook. This seems to be happening to me a lot. <clears throat> and um, I thought, well, what am I going to do now? You know, I've got all these stitches and like I think I had what like I don't know how much I had done but I thought okay there's a fly in here oh, lovely 
Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to have to frog it. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, I'm going to have to frog it and start again. <laughs> so I started again with a different size hook. And like we looked everywhere for this hook. Everywhere. I was taking the skeins and I was squishing them because I have this habit of taking my hook and doing that so that I don't lose it, right? I was squishing my skeins. I ripped my couch apart. We looked under the couch. We, oh, we looked everywhere and I could not find it for the life of me. So I started this again. And then I got to, what, maybe this far in. And I was pulling yarn out of my black yarn. And out pops my other hook. Really? The problem was, is I was using what I call my unicorn hook. And it's the furls hook that ha that is clear with the sparkles. So I guess when I was squishing my skein, squishing it, checking it, I couldn't see it. So, so annoyed much? Yeah. So anyways, I just kept going. I just went, whatever. <clears throat> so yeah, so I, this is how far I've gotten. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing this all in one piece. Okay, so I'm doing this. So you take the one end and you put it over your back, right? So this is the one side of the cardigan. I show this process in another video in a, in a tutorial that I've done. So once you get to the middle, the middle of your back, you do a, you count halfway, whatever the halfway mark is, this way, right? Or I mean this way, sorry. Um, and then you do half a row, like put a stitch marker where the halfway mark is. You do one row up to that stitch marker and then you chain the remainder. So you chain the, the amount of stitches on the other half, right? And then you start going back and forth again. And then you do the other side. So, so it ends up being like this, right? Where there's a split and it comes down and then you start on the other side, okay? Oh, so anyway, so now I am starting on the second half of the sweater. Now I'm hoping this is all going to work itself out. It usually takes me about three days to make a sweater. I'm trying really hard to slow it down so that I can have it for the duration of the month. So once I get the second part finished, I will be showing that you that at the beginning of the third week. Then I will be doing the sleeves. I will show that to the um, at the. I guess I'm, the sleeves and the collar and everything will be the last, <clears throat> the last part. So yeah, I'm hoping <laughs> I'm going to be able to get this done in a timely manner. Usually, it doesn't take me all that long. But, um, I start, I'm, so what I've done is I, I'm doing some of this and then I'm starting another project to kind of keep me busy so that when the next week comes along, I'm not like already finished the sweater. <laughs> so, which I have a habit of doing. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, but I think, I, I think that the colors are fairly accurate, aren't they? 
Do, am I just kidding myself or is it? I think it's okay, right? I don't know. Here, let's put up the poster again. And we'll put this up. Is it close? I haven't looked at the poster yet. <laughs> I'm hoping it's close. It'll do, right? Okay. It's too late now. <laughs> if it's not. I know that <clears throat> I know that Frodo's smock is a dark green, but I mean that's only one piece of the whole poster. So we'll see how it goes. So anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to go over to Heather's channel, give her some yarny love and uh, see what she has on her hook. Something obviously fabulous as always. Uh, and I will talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye. Bye.